You not ready? Huh? You I'm not... ready. I'm ready. I just need a cup. I. Nah, it's on. It's on the counter. Yeah, but toys. In like a cup. Yeah. Extremely rare. Where the day with a very, very special guest. Might be some of your favorite songs. I know. I know. Definitely has some of mine. It's a good guy. Molly. Oh MDMA. yo 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 yo! What's going on? It's your boy MDMA. We're right here. Yeah, what's your chain on? say? It say file reef. You got for reef? File reef. Like Shout R- out the R- thousand man. Like R E O oh, Reef. Yeah, file reef. I thought it was Reed. Shit say reef. You know what I'm saying? Like what was it? Wait, you don't see the F right there? No, nah, I, I literally was staring at it earlier, like, yo, what does that say? Yeah, I could reef. never figure out what that said. Yeah, man. I mean, hey. So first of all, let's just let's just get right into it. Cause I mean, I don't know everybody that's Acquainted with what you got going on here, but right. where you from? You know what? You know, give let's give, give us the rundown. You know, I right, so I'm from College Park, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Right around the old national area and shit. Uh, I started music when I was like first first year out of high school or something like that. And I really took it serious when I moved to California and shit like that. And that was like four years ago. I mean, you so was doing like, you was doing poems though. Yeah, I was, yeah, doing, was poems. doing poems. I was doing poems. That's I mean, yeah. it, but, research. <laughs> research. <laughs> research. Hey but man, yeah, look. I was doing poems and shit like in, in high school. I can curse, right? Hmm. I can curse. Yeah, nigga. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I was doing uh poems and shit like when I was in like middle school, high school type shit. And I kind of like transitioned me into rapping because I used to like be in like the assemblies and I used to do them and stuff and people would love them and shit. And then that just got me into the art of rapping. You know what I'm saying? I said, if yeah. I could do this, then I could do that. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, well, I feel like it's it's one and the same, but I feel like even with what your music is as far as like a lyrical basis, excuse me, um, that you can kind of see the whole kind of poem is background right just because of how it comes out and also too it's a little bit more or more heartfelt and you know shit like that you know what i'm saying i think i mean i feel like that's a derivative of like kind of what's going on right right and then you know you can also tell too that you know even from a young age of you being on stage as a very young age and performing in front of people that you know your stage presence you know we've been to a couple shows together that i've seen you perform and you know whatever the case is you know it's really good energy so I, I, I can see it. I mean, it makes sense, you know? Mm-hmm. But I mean, even even with that, like, how would you describe kind of like what your sound is? Like, as cliche and ugly as that question is, <laughs> like, it's very cliche, but right, I'm right, curious right. because your background is very, like, you know, it's very heavily in rap, but it's also, like, you know, trap. trap yeah. and, and But also at the same time, it's a little alternative, it's a little rock. So kind of break down where you're pulling a lot of your, you know, inspiration or your your i guess your yeah just say inspiration for lack of a better term um well as of my sound i think i really got my sound from like the basically not not more say like per se like rapping more so like the beat you feel what i'm saying it's like because sometimes when i used to listen to beats like uh more i'm saying like EDM, yeah, more so like EDM. When I'm listening to like the EDM beats and how fast the rhythm is, I was just thinking like, what if those like, you know what I'm saying? How fast that beat yeah. is was in words and stuff yeah. like that, you know what I'm saying? And then I was, that's that's really where I like like made my flow that I got today, yeah. like just off of beats, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not really listening to the rap, but the rhythm, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, I think I think it's also uh, like now we say that you don't write. Nah, not at all. You I know? used to. I said, I said, so at what point did you stop? Because that's very important in anybody's career is when they right. stopped writing. Uh, I started. I stopped. I stopped writing when uh, I got. I came out here like the first year I came out here, like in 2018. Uh, <clears throat> I got in the studio with my brother. And then he was like, I came in and I had the phone and it sounded <laughs> it sounded a little scripted, like you, you know what I'm saying? It. When I was rapping, yeah. it was like I couldn't get into it and I kept like messing up the words. 
because you know how well rappers know how you write something and then you write something without a beat you gotta get on the beat and make it yeah fit on the beat mm -hmm. so if you didn't write it to a beat too, yeah you know, but that was like, like that was like that was just like too much. My brother was like, bro, just go in there and just vibe, man. Just go feel it. Close your eyes and yeah. find it. Yeah, just just, <laughs> just go in there and vibe. Cause it was like it didn't sound, it just didn't sound good. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like I know the bars was there and everything, but it's like it just didn't sound good. Yeah. So I just got down, took, took what I had, the little stuff I had off of the uh like me writing it on the phone and my notes and stuff. I took the little words out of that, and then I just kept stacking the words, kept stacking the words, and yeah. then, you know, when you go in the studio, you better your craft when you practice it, and then it just, now it's natural. Like, yeah. I can just go in there and just make something like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, practice easy. does, make, you know, makes the perfect, you know what facts, I'm saying? I mean, facts. at the end of the day, too. But, I mean, even on top of on top of that, like, your last project or the, which would be, I don't know if you're going to, like I said, this, this album, I don't know if you're releasing something later, uh -huh. but, I mean, at least for like what we we're talking about for because we work together, you right. know, and, and 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 definitely one of the one of my most favorite people to work with too. Just on a on a you know person to person basis, you know, I think it's very fun. We get a lot of work done. It's you know, right. it's always a great time, right. you know. But um, I think too, like off the last album for the song that I'm doing, mm. like that song is very. You can see everything that you're talking about. And that's why I was so curious on where you're pulling a lot of your 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 inspiration because even from your the style, to even like how you dress mm. compared to like the songs that come out are very, I guess, versatile in a way. You're showing a lot of versatility. Right. And I think even with, you know, your artistry, you're getting better at it, but I think that's a definite thing that's happening. Do you think, you can you can pour it on there, you're fine. Okay, okay. Um, but, uh, I mean, do you think that's contest to our shows through it on all your albums or all the music that you work on? Uh, I feel like... Yeah, and no, because I started, like, at first it was that, and then I started digging deeper, like, more so when I was getting older. Like, I need to stop just talking about, you know, fun. Like, people want to know who I am as an artist, you know what I'm saying? So I just started digging deeper, and then it came to a point where it's like, I'll live, and then I'll make a song. I'll live, then I'll make a song. I'll live, then I'll make a song. So it's like, really, it's really the rapping about my life yeah. you know what i'm saying it's, so it's, it's what's happening in the now right right that's when you hear like the song that we working on like yeah. the visuals we getting from that that's like coming from more of a like a deeper standpoint because yeah. it's like i feel like most of my life i ain't really have i'm not a person of like many words you know what i'm saying i don't yeah. really say that much yeah you know what i'm saying so when i'm like rapping and stuff i feel like that's my way to voice myself you feel me so i feel like that's that's where I get the inspiration for all the songs. And, and I like and I that. mean too, even you know, even from you know the producer that you use, because you, I mean, you use a good plethora, you use a good handful of you know certain ones, but you know, even from what you're saying is like the EDM, the rap, and things of that nature. I feel like the producer that you use definitely help insinuate or really create that. You know, what I'm saying that that path. I don't know how closely you're working with. Them as far as like you know, because nowadays everybody just kind of sends beats and you know, right, right. Nobody right. really goes to the studio <clears throat> together like that, or at least I haven't seen it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. I mean, I think are you telling them like what exactly you want, or they're just kind of guessing the sound? Um, yeah, are you working with them that closely, or are you are they just kind of guessing the sound? Or because I know you work with um you know Isaac uh, Indigo, oh, Indigo and 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 Emerson very closely. I mean, you know, on especially on certain projects from the stuff that they've dropped. Right, and I think you know as far as like the the rap mixing with the the EDM shit is definitely in your lane. Right, but like the other ones, like you know, how are you you know kind of going about that? Uh, you you got the people that send their beats through mm -hmm. the the email, but um, I like I think the producers that I that that send me beats or the ones that I'm working with in the studio, they go based off of the songs that I already made. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like you get a pack of beats in your emails, and you really can't just be like, all right, click one beat and be like, all right, this one is it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to go through the whole thing, and you kind of make make like your sound your sound through that. Yeah. Um, I think what well, for me it's better for like 
to have the the producers in the studio with me. Like uh Isaac, like you said, Isaac Emerson, uh Young Star first. Like I like catching a vibe with them in the yeah. studio, you know what I'm saying? In mm-hmm. the studio. There's nothing wrong with getting beats from the the email and yeah. like stuff like that, but I rather catch quick, the vibe inside. Shot, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather catch the the vibe inside the studio. I feel you. I mean, and I know, and I mean, I hope I'm not letting no cat out the bag when I say this, but I mean, I know like as far as like how you, you know, you make your albums, you know, cause you, you record a lot. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, I know you record in the crib and you know what I'm saying? You might go to the studio and whatever, you know, whatever is right. available for real. Uh-huh. But I mean, I know you, your albums are comprised of half and half. You know what I'm saying? And is that, is that just because, you know, it's, all the music's quality, mm-hmm. but are you looking just for, you know, I want to have a lot of songs or so I can make the album or are you already kind of on a topic or a concept towards it? And that's why, you know, some songs might be newer than others. And I mean, I, that's very not, it's very not broad. That's a broad thing to say, cause, right. you know, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what right, saying? right cause right, some right. songs will come out just as singles because they're throwaways or whatever the case is. Mm. But the songs that are album cut might sit forever because you, you're a snippet man. Right, right, right. You, you're, you're a snippet of nigga to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, but right, you know right. what I'm saying? You get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The the songs that I have for the album, well, I need, I used to, the way I used to do it, like when I first started, I used to. Go in the studio with the topic in my head. All right, this is the uh, topic of the 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 tape. The tape yeah. is called so and so. All right, every time I go in the studio, I'm gonna make a song for so and so based off yeah. of so and so. Just other details for you know so and so. The title of the thing. But now I've been um just getting songs like fans favorite, and then just going based off of the transition. What sounds good transition like this song to this song what what sounds smoother yeah. like it sound i want it to sound like one whole song with different vibes you know what i'm saying yeah. like a song just full of different vibes that's what i want the whole tape to sound like yeah one song with different vibes but i want to go back to going in the studio and basing the songs off the title because it's like i feel like the message comes better, you know clear. what I'm saying? Because every clear. every title of the tape really means something, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So when I do it, like, just put random songs on there, it's like you really can't catch a vibe. So, like, with yeah. the next tapes I'm putting out, I'm going to try to get back to, like, making it, like, a vibe of the title, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Not, not just putting the songs together, like, all right, I'm going to take this song. All right, this sound good. All right, this sound fine. Let me put this on. Yeah. I'm not going to do that no more. I got to go back to, like, I got to go back to, like, basing it off the title. And yeah. that's what that's what I'm going to do more now. But that's that's how I used to do it. No, nah, and I mean, I think that's, I mean, I guess not. I mean, it's better, I mean, for that. I mean, technically, it's like a compilation. Mm. If you're dropping, you know, songs here and there. But, I mean, it's all under the same roof. So, I mean, I guess you can't really go wrong. You know, too far about it. You know what I'm saying? As long as the music makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Please. Good. See, look. Yeah, great, great rapper. And also good, you know what I'm saying? All that. Shout you don't out need to, that much. I don't need that much, man. Oh. Shit. Yeah. But, um. Just still. <laughs> just still. Just still. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't chugging Yeah, we ain't, we ain't, you know what I'm saying? Sophisticated tequila drinkers. <laughs> dot right. org. Drink responsibly. Pinkies up. Man, stop it. <laughs> might as well. We might as well. You know what I'm saying? But uh, oh my God, uh, I, I don't drink y'all, so we we doing this for this right here. Yeah. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. But as far as um, as far as visuals go too, like, and this is aside from me, like, how do you kind of go about picking the songs, especially in the way that you're going, you know, about it in a sense? I feel like with the visuals, uh, I try to pick the songs that that. You could already see a video too when you listen to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I got s- some of the songs that you hear, you be like, all right, it's just for the ear. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, all right, I listen to this, like, I'm gonna bump this on the way to work, uh, working out, boom, boom, boom. But then it's some of those songs that when you listen to it, 
it's just like boom, dang. Like I could see what's going on as he's saying it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I try Not, to get those. And you're very no, you're very good at that too. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? When you speaking with the other song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How all those certain things were very pinpoint. So I think right. That's also very important. A lot of people have lost like the imagery thing. That's not like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like super fucking plain and simple. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the big three, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So I think, I think that's very, that's what sets you apart from other people as well. Is that your imagery in your music on top of, like I said, like the whole poetry thing, because it all kind of leads back to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But so I know too, and, and you know, I keep seeing, I keep seeing people talk about you about to, you know, drop a tape with your with, with your brother. Mm. And the the funny thing about that is that I mean, obviously you're gonna get the comparisons and and so on and so forth. But I'll be real with y'all, y'all niggas don't really sound too much alike. I don't except know. I don't think except so except and I don't know if this song is out, so you can tell me I don't remember. But that that Piccolo song. Y'all niggas sound the exact same when I bitch. And I, <laughs> I was with Lon- I was with I was saying that I was with London mm. and I was listening to it and she was like, "Dang, Molly sounds different." And I was like, "I don't know which one is him." <laughs> it, it, we sat at this red light. I swear to God, we sat at this red light for like fifteen minutes. Like, yo, who the? F- I don't know which one it is. Nigga had to go on Rap Genius and look and see which one like was differentiating. Right, right. That's right. the only song I think I've ever heard that y'all niggas sound like. Okay, like. You can tell they're brothers now. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? But, like, kind of going about that, I mean, because, I mean, obviously, it's your brother. You're going to be working with him a lot. You know what I'm saying? This really is about him because you carved your own lane out right. to what it is. So, I mean, you have to give yourself respect and, you know what I'm saying, for that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? But, it obviously, you, know, you yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to you dig. So, I think it's still worthwhile speaking about because you guys, I mean, I, you know, have the chance to be in the studio with both of you guys separately. And at the same time, you guys definitely do work. Differently, I mean, the shit we was at, you niggas had two different rooms. Right, right, And if you walked into each room, it was something different in each room. And, right. And, and going about it differently. But you guys are both very aggressive um, uh, creators of your music. <laughs> <laughs> Turn my ad libs up. Turn it up. You know about. So, yeah, like, kind of speak on that. Like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's worthy worth talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this tape that's coming out. I mean. What's the name? I don't have no idea. I don't give me a no give idea. me an exclusive, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the name is. I I got a few in my mind, but I'm just gonna keep that like in the store. I'm gonna keep that in the store because I don't want to got them yeah, lead yeah, people yeah, on. Yeah, then they yeah. like, oh yeah, my lead. Oh no, this is what it's called. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And then they just putting songs on there from snippets. Like, oh yeah, this going on here. This going on here. Nah, I ain't. I think I heard a Uno ad lib. I'm this definitely going on there. Right, you know right, what I'm right, right. Shit. Uh, I don't know when the tape's going to come out, but I know it's going to be soon. Cause like since I since I came out here, well I can say this since he gave me the opportunity to come out here, cause he he gave me the opportunity yeah. to come out here and do what I had to do. Since he gave me the opportunity to come out here, we've been making music here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like when I came out here, I I. You know, jump straight in the water. Yeah, you know what I'm mean, saying? He, so, like, when you jump straight in the water with your, you know what I'm saying, brother, yeah. and he on, like, he already swimming in motherfucker. You got to meet up sometimes, take a breather. And that's what we've been doing. Like, we ain't been just nonstop in the studio, but, yeah. like, when we have time to make songs, we be in there for a minute. Yeah. You feel me? So, I feel like I'm not going to say the the tape is is coming out, <laughs> like, in He's the dropping next a few detox. Months. It's detox. You know what I'm it's I don't detox. Know, it's never but dropping. It, but it's definitely <laughs> coming out this year. Nah, it's I, definitely I, coming out this year. I, yeah, this is what we like to hear. I mean, because I mean, I heard you say before because you've been teasing this bitch for a minute. Right, right, for right. a minute. Right. And that's why I was. Like, I heard some like like a couple weeks ago. I heard some. I think in like another interview or some shit. And he was like, "Oh yeah, it's supposed to drop." And that was last year. I said, "Hmm." Said, niggas love to lie. <laughs> like, because it's like you got the idea for it. Like yeah. you got the idea for it. And then you talk about it. And then when you talk about it, you be so hyped. You think mm-hmm. I'm coming out tomorrow. Nah, nah, I mean, nah, nah, nah. I mean, nah. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not mad at it. You we know, we're gonna take our time because I feel like I really want to drop a tape with my brother when we're like semi in the same ballpark. In the same, yeah, in the yeah. same ballpark. Cause I don't want it to just be like, all right. Molly's getting on off of this tape. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I want it to be like, all right, we can sit here and enjoy it because these niggas worked their ass off and got to a position to where 
they both in the same yeah. boat and it's they making high class music, music you know what i'm saying so i want to wait to there but i'm gonna say it's gonna be this year for sure i mean like i said i mean and 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 that's also go for yourself to me, you know what I'm saying? But you but you doing good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's 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 not act, you know what I'm saying, and say that you're not. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're definitely caught like I said, you carving your lane, you making it make sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think we're we you know, we're waiting for it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've heard I mean, I don't know what them songs going on, I mean, but I've heard, you know, a couple of the joints, you know what I'm saying? I've heard a couple of things here and there through the grapevine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It sound great. So right, I'm like, right, yeah, right, you better, right, right. you better hurry up, man. So I know, <laughs> nigga, what the, bro? Are those hearts on your face? Yeah, these are hearts. I've never, nigga. When I first met you, I swear to God, nigga, because you, I met you uh, at the at the other crib, mm. and you came, you came, you had mad suitcases. I'll never forget. This. You had these <laughs> mad, you had mad suitcases, and you had this crazy ass jacket on. I can't remember, but in the light, because you know them front that front living room light was harsh as shit, and uh. they had them on all the way, and I was like. This thing got hearts on his face. <laughs> like, and I can, I mean, yo, face tats is gonna be face tats. Right. I think, I think it's brave. You know right. what I'm saying? There's no turning back. You mm. know what I'm saying? But I think, like, what, why hearts? You know what I'm saying? Because. All right, so I put the hearts on my face for a few reasons, Can't but wait. it just made sense. You know what I'm saying? It just made mm. sense. It's really because, yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? R.I.P. To some of my partners, like like I had three close friends that that passed away. Well, one of them, one of my friends, he like he in jail. His name is Pooh, but like the other two passed away. But he might as well have been. Yeah. like he you got life, my boy. Like yeah, God, it's, now it's, it's, let me put a heart on your face for you, bro. Yeah, you got life. So but, so I'm saying so you're saying instead of heart, instead of teardrops. Yeah, it's just hearts. Because hearts. I got love for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time you, you see me, you see them. You know what I'm saying? I want them to live through me because I like they ain't going to see the light of day no more. Yeah, no. Especially my boy. Free my boy Pooh. But they ain't going to see free the light Pooh. of day. Free Pooh. Free Pooh. Not shysty, but he here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not shysty, <laughs> but he here. yo. What's, what's this one? This one is like, uh, these are wings. This is for like bravery and triumph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I looked it up, like the wings and stuff. It said triumph. You know what I'm saying? I put up a, a, a symbol. I Googled it. Like, what's yeah. the symbol for, you know, triumph, bravery, and something? It was the wings. And yeah. then I just got the wings on my face because it's like, I feel like when you come in this thing, you got to be brave. You know what I'm saying? You got to because you jumping in with the sharks. And you know what I'm saying? Come sharks on, and face tats. <laughs> sharks and face tats. <laughs> but, but when I got it, when I got it, it was a random day. Like, I ain't going to lie. It was just random. I've been wanting face tats. Like I've been wanting face tats since Out I was game. in middle school. Out since I was game. in middle school, I've been <laughs> wanting face tats. Cause it's like that's in Atlanta, that's like kind of a culture, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They had face tats. I thought that was just cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just thought it was cool, but I just know my mom told me, like, if you ever get tattoos, always make sure they're meanness. Cause you don't wanna be walking around with like a Chinese tattoo that say, yeah, I like, hate you know what I'm saying? Chinese like, just about- something weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be walking around. Man, Google translated some Chinese shit and yeah. said, yeah, give me this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they like- got a tattoo on his neck saying sucky sucky. <laughs> Like no, yo, no, like nah. Yo, I mean, hey, side note too. What's what's up with this vape hoodie? Ah, uh, this vape hoodie. Yeah, like yeah, this life, huh? Nah, this this is it. Like you know, what I'm saying speak speak about the fashion shit. Then you be you know, what I'm saying I be seeing the I be seeing the ricks. I be seeing the you know, what I'm saying like I mean, kind of speak about it because you kind of mixing a lot of shit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fashion shit just come just I guess it just go based off of my personality. You know what I'm saying? Like. When I feel like a fashion statement is based off of who you are. Like when somebody see your clothes, the clothes on you, they should be like, all right, I know who yeah. that per- what type of person that nigga is. You know what I'm saying? They should tell about based off of your clothes, I feel like. You know, a lot of people mix it up, you know what I'm saying? Like they won't wear the same thing every day, but it's like the aesthetic Aesthetic. of what they wear is the same. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's it it circled around the same that. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah, because I mean, and too, you got you always got earrings. Like yeah. you one of them niggas that faithfully wear earrings. I think <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> like faithfully. Like, yo, I don't when think I, I was when I was little, my mom, she didn't let me wear earrings. I couldn't wear nothing. Like or? when I was in, yeah, when I was in middle school, I used to sneak and put magnets in my ears. Like I would have a magnet earring. I had I got this uh it was some online thing on the phone. 
and I seen Ludacris. He had a magnet in his ear. He, you know, when he had the Z beard, yeah, the Z sideburns and shit. He, it was him just modeling the earring, but it was a magnet, and it was big as like big as hell on his ear. I was like, damn, that shit looks shining. Like, you get what he, he I had gotta, to get one of those. It came in. One. It wasn't as big as Ludacris's. I think like it shrunk in the middle or something. I don't know, <laughs> but like. I put it on and I used to sneak, like I used to sneak and put my hood on, go to school, but it was a magnet. You know what I'm saying? So imagine how serious it gotta be. I'm hiding a magnet earring from my mom. That's how serious it was. Like if she would have seen that, she would have whooped my how ass. Feel now? Uh I mean shit. I mean <laughs> it's like she feel now? you know, like, they they, you they love them. Them ran off. Y'all, y'all yeah, yeah, nah, <laughs> like nah, crazy nah. now. Nah, she she worried about us like every yeah. other mom you know what i'm saying but Man, she cool should. about it like we grown now so i feel like she understand that we grown now no nah, i mean i mean hey shit that's what i'm saying because i've always wondered because because you got a couple of them babe hoodies that you know what i'm saying that just very wayne very wayne-ish yeah you know what i'm saying very very <laughs> yeah. prostitute too you know what i'm saying like very carter too you know what i'm saying that's how i'm like ah, i was like i gotta i gotta speak on that i ain't gonna lie the bait hoodie the bait hoodie swag came from my dj though who's your dj my DJ is Aaron so I Death Moon. Really Death DJ Death Moon. But the bait hoodie really came from him. The he iciest. Used to, he used to wear that shit. And I used to be like, damn. Like bait hoodies is fire. Cause I used to just like the shoes. I'll be real. I don't like the shark head shit. I never got into that. I'm not gonna lie to you. But like I like the you know what I'm saying, the yeah. simple joints. Cause I feel like they was I feel like they put more like care into it. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like they you couldn't really like yeah, you could copy it, but like you couldn't copy something that looked like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they, right. they had so many flavors. So that's why I was like, I fuck with that more than anything that they've ever did. You know, True. where like that's why I fuck with that hoodie so much. But I like I, I I got this one big hoodie that got like the uh, the Mickey Mouse ears on it. <laughs> that's hard, bro. That's hard. You that's like my ears. favorite. That's like my favorite babe hoodie. Cause that, like, when I wear that, that hoodie just say Molly. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga ready to go crazy. This nigga ready to go crazy. That's Molly like has a whole right closet there. full of jackets that have ears and tails. No cap. Like yeah, it's, it's not nah, for real. But look, we're about out of time, guys. This was a great, great discussion. Everybody go fuck with my boy Molly. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate Same. him for coming on the show. Hey, you know Witchcraft, Witchcraft 2 on the way. You know what I'm saying? Control wait, wait, Freak on the way. Wait, before we get out of this, let's 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 speak let's speak about that real quick. So yeah, so mm-hmm. about Witchcraft. Well, tell me tell me about what what's coming up. Give me a date. Give me the exclusive Funk Flex voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to drop it in March. Let's just say You heard it here. Let's just say the end of March it will be dropping, you know what I'm saying? Extremely rare. But I'm trying to drop this tape control free first. I'm trying to drop this tape control free first. It's like me. Uh, it's like it's like Genie too, kinda. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's like no, it's like a Genie point five, one point five. You type love shit. doing point shits. Cause it's like you gotta give them like you gotta. <laughs> it's like I'm the snippet king, so you gotta give them a little snippet tease. God. You gotta you gotta give them a little tease before you go into the the the, the second one. Cause it's like the first one. It's always has it always has to be a classic. Yeah. The first tape of a series always has to be a classic. You gotta be it. And then the second one, you gotta match the same fire you had on the first one. It might not be as classic as that one, but but you gotta match the same fire and you gotta show them how you evolved from where you started to now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like the second tapes for every artist is them becoming their selves in the industry for real. You or yeah, that, and then also like developing that sound, like actually putting that sound to work. Right, right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? And then you yeah, know, you always that. get like you know the like the better beats and you know such facts, and such. You facts. know what I'm People saying? People like, start fucking with you, you more. Oh so yeah, you go, like, where I heard that first yeah, one. That's why the, yeah. you're right. The first one gotta be it because if it's not, it could it could it could really make and break that second one. Facts. But facts. I but I what I do, I guess you could say what I do commend is people that do stay with like you know the same group of people that made the first one and stuff like that, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, when that first one is a classic, mm-hmm. they be leaving the other people behind, like, oh, right. yeah, we're good looking. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. You did your job, right. but now it's like, but now Murder Beats over here, so now I can't really do too much with you now, you know? Not to say that you would ever do that, but you right. know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what makes those things different. I feel like, I feel like once you build something with somebody, 
you can only get better with them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if you go to a new person, they got to find out how you sound and everything. But once you stay with those people, you know what I'm saying, the people that you started off with, y'all both can evolve y'all sound because y'all already know what's going on. Yeah. So y'all could be like, all right, we could take this up a notch, or we could turn this this right here. We could make the ad lib sound like this, you know what I'm saying? Because aggressive they already engineering. know you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> he said aggressive, <laughs> aggressive engineering. <laughs> Yeah, dot but, org yeah, but nah I but like i think that. but i mean that all goes back to what i was saying before with you know working hands-on with these projects so you're right. saying control freak and the next one are going to be a hands-on oh yeah them hands on molly this is them, this them is a, definitely already hands-on like we already they already finished them them been finished <laughs> those been finished you know what i'm saying if there's anything that i've heard in the last couple of days yeah yeah he's doing a great job y'all yeah. like take take my word for it he's, he's going he's going crazy but look, I'm out of time. Molly's hair is purple. This, I appreciate this. You can't see because it's in black and white, but it's purple as fuck. But <laughs> shout out to my boy. I appreciate could, this, man. Couldn't could not have him on here. You know what I'm saying? This is this is really one of one of one of the people that definitely believed in me. Yeah. You know, at, at a at a very early time. You know Facts. what I'm saying? So Facts. I. I it would make no sense to not have him yet, you know what I'm saying? But I'm proud. I ain't gonna lie. I'm proud. I'm proud to see the growth. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Like you ain't stopped. Like you know, a lot of we seen people <laughs> who fell off. You know what I'm saying? Like they was going yeah, hard yeah. and then they just dispersed. But it's it's good to see that you still growing and you know expanding your I'm talent. Trying. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate that. You know I do. You know what I'm saying? More than anything. So from here on out, this is this. I appreciate you again and uh. Yeah, appreciate you, my boy. The case on my heart was 187, no romance was daily. A bitch can change your life, but promise the heartache is hazy. For a minute, I 